Alright guys, what's going on? My name's Farwild and welcome to a commentary. And I know it's been a very long time since I've done one of these, but I just sat down at my computer and thought, what could I talk about? What could I talk about? And I didn't really want to do, like, what should we bring forward to Halo 6 or something, but I'm going to do it anyway, because, well, it's just a topic that I know has been discussed, but not in this great a detail for this particular aspect of Halo 5 and I'm going to be talking about Warzone and how it can be improved for Halo 6. Now 343 brought Warzone into Halo 5 with casual players in mind which is being shown by their reluctancy to have an unranked permanent playlist in Arena because it's all ranked and they don't have like a proper unranked playlist although they do actually have like a few now but on launch they didn't, don't have unranked Slayer that sort of thing. And then, with this casual attitude towards Warzone, it sort of, if you like, it gives them, like, a license to do whatever they want of it. Because if, like, some BS just happens or whatever, they can just use the argument that, oh, oh it's casual, you shouldn't be taking it too seriously. And so, with that in mind, you got, I've, I've came up with a list of quite a few, actually, potential improvements that I would like to see made in Halo, uh, in Warzone. Even, perhaps even in Halo 5 and going forward into future games, Halo 6. Now, I think we can um, uh, expect Halo 6 to come out in a year's time. Uh, probably November, October 2017. Because you've got Halo Wars 2 this year. And then they, they normally have released them on that sort of cycle. Now, um, my first point I had is... The surrender tool. Now, I would love to see this surrender tool because it's only happened to me a couple of times, but the couple of times it ha has ha it happened, it has really, really pissed me off. And it's where you don't want to be battered like for 10 minutes by the other team who keep on spawning tanks and that while you've only got your, your home base. Yeah, you don't want to be battered and spawn killed by the other team for 10 minutes when they've got like tanks and banshees and snipers and you, your team are just spawning and dying all the time and you don't want to quit because of the the quit penalties the game enforces so a surrender tool would be really nice and say if you were losing by or maybe not losing by a number of score but perhaps if you hadn't captured a base in like I don't know 10 about 6 7 minutes or whatever they, they, a surrender you can trigger a surrender vote that would be pretty good also, another improvement I'd like to see is to do with the rec system. I'd like to see a less range in the BR variants that they have. It's just because it just get it's just got a bit silly with trying to scroll through all them battle rifles you have, and some of them are let's be honest, they're useless. What well, there's like oh, whoever uses the Sentinel BR, you can do one because two scopes on a battle rifle just doesn't work. You do not get used to it, and it is useless. The two that I use mainly are the long shot battle rifle and the silenced battle rifle. They're, them two are the best ones in my opinion. The silence is especially good on like the SMG when you're attacking bases, but it is just a bit silly scrolling through all them things. And then you get the bayonets as well. The bayonets are good, but then you have the bayonet with the normal battle rifle. Then you have the bayonet with the classic battle rifle. Then you have the bayonet with the battle rifle, with the long scope. It's just, it just adds up and adds up and it just gets ridiculous. And then, and also because it's a random process in unlocking the Rex, the amount of time it takes to to get them all is ridiculous and you, you end up wasting your points on stupid VRs that you're never gonna use. And it, it's just really frustrating, but the idea of a, a random Rex system is um, a topic for another day, I think. I don't. I would like to go into that in great detail and bollock it as much as I possibly can, but um, I'll, I'll go and get to that one today. Next point is, on the contrary, more Magnum variants. I mean, I think at the moment you only have the basic one and you have the extended magazine one. And to be honest, that's not really enough. I want to see, I don't know what I want, I want to see a Magnum with like a, a three round burst, like a battle rifle. How cool would that be? Like, I just want to see something a bit different, a bit unique. For a weapon which is so, such a trademark of the Halo franchise. 
Also, and to do with this is all about the rec system at the moment. I'd like to see certifications that you can turn off. So this isn't especially to do with Warzone entirely. It's just to do with the general game. But the way the random rec system works is when you get a certification, you get more of that weapon. And what I'd like to do is be able to turn off the certifications so you don't get a Scrouge of the Fire rare plasma caster in every single pack. I mean, who wants to waste stuff on that? Unlike the mongooses, the oni mongooses, the gungoose, the scout warthogs. No one wants them. And yet, for some reason, they always turn up in the packs. Turn off the certifications. That would be great. I'm not even sure if that's in the game at the moment. I'll have to check if it is. I'll sound like a right mug saying this. But yeah, please be able to turn it off. Next one is, for Warzone exclusively, I like more retro weapons. So, at the moment, you have got the Halo 2 BR and the Halo 1 Magnum. And you, I guess you could say Georgia Chain Gun is sort of one. But I'd like to see more. I'd like to see uh, the addition of the, like, from, ha actually name it by the game. So, Halo Reach, Sniper Rifle, Halo Reach, Grenade Launcher. Because, I tell you what, them two weapons were absolutely outrageously good. And were just a staple for that game itself. Also, you could have the Halo 3 flamethrower that was a great weapon and, and while it wouldn't have a place in competitive it would be a really nice addition in warzone just because i mean as i said at the start of the video 343 wants this to be casual and they want this to be fun so if you can have weapons from previous games why not that would be a really good idea also you can in include grenades like the halo 3 incendiary grenade set stuff on fire like and and perhaps include like effects where the grass sets on fire and it creates like a a massive fire somewhere, you know what I mean? I don't know. But uh, because of the power of the Xbox One and like the, and then the Xbox One S, you've got a big potential for different effects that just weren't available back in like the days of Halo 3. Also, I'd like to see um, dual wielding in Warzone. Now, again, not really going to ever find its place in Arena, but if you look back, dual wielding was good fun in Halo 3 and Halo 2. I mean... The SMGs dual wielding in Halo 3, there was the whole song about it. That was like really cool, and like the kneelers in Halo 2, that was like, <laughs> that was pretty OP. But you know, I'd like to see like dual magnums, or I don't know, um, trying to think of something. Imagine like dual energy swords. While like in itself, it won't be very, it won't be applied very well. I mean, how cool would it look though? Come on, and it's just, and again, it's just a casual thing. It's just. That's sort of what it is. Secondly, uh, well, what I'm saying secondly, it was like, this is like point eight or something. Firefight on launch, please. The Firefight Warzone was really, it's really good. I do enjoy playing it. I mean, it does take quite a long time to complete. And if you fail in the final round because your teammates aren't doing enough and like you've got 60 kills and someone's only got 10, it's, it's really frustrating. But having said that, it is great fun. And the rewards you get for winning, which I'll come on to later, I think you get three gold packs. That's that's quite good. That's good. that's like thirty thousand rec points right there, and and the actual rec points you get is good as well. And the way it mixes it up is, and you work as a team is also very fun. Keep that on launch, please. Next up, I want better maps. Now, I mean, you have to admit, how many Warzone maps are there? There's Stormbreak, ARC. Um, there's the the jungly one. There's the space one. There's the road one. I've counted five, and and then there's the newest one. I don't know the names. That's six Warzone maps, and to be honest, I can't remember the name of it. But the best one is the jung jung jungler one, I guess you could call it. I think, in my opinion, and also the road one's okay. But you need better maps. Escape from ARC is boring. It's so boring. Like it's just the same every map, every time you get the middle base, and that's it. It's it's boring, and the same for March on Stormbreak. That is the deadest map I've ever played. That is so so dull. And also with this, I want them to mix up the bosses, make it random every game. Because I mean, while they've done the boss refresh, it's I mean, why didn't you just make it random off off the start? Because you because you used to be able to predict what came up and it. I don't know, it, it just made it a bit a bit boring, you know what I mean? And, I mean, in like a competitive scenario, yeah, make it staggered each time because you don't want you don't want random factors affecting the tone of a game, but in a casual environment such as this, you sort of want it 
to be random because it adds. I mean, in a, in a in a game type where you can randomly get any weapon you want, and the enemy team won't know until you've already killed them with it. I think random bosses are all right. And then also, I'd like to see more roaming AI. Now, a roaming ro what I mean by roaming AI is it doesn't have to be a boss or anything like that, or not just at the start of like the game. I actually want to see just grunts just walking around chilling. I want to see Easter eggs in Warzone. I want to see the grunt birthday party Easter egg somewhere. Put on a disco. Grunts have a party, lads. I want to see stuff. Like I want to see some fun elements, which Free for Free have implemented, which is actually quite good. Easter eggs. Oh, what else do I want to see? Uh, oh yeah, as long as, as well as the roaming AI, it's because the commendations are also quite difficult to achieve, such as the Watcher commendation. I don't know how many you have to get, but unless you're doing Warzone Firefight 24/7, that is difficult. Next up, I want higher rewards for winning. Now, Warzone Firefight, I think you get three gold packs for winning, as I said earlier. If that was like that for uh, normal Warzone, that would be really good. I mean, it is a 20-minute match plus, after all. So, you are. I, I do want significant things and just some rec points which you'll end up spending on a random item uh, and some XP which goes towards your level. Is, is that really worth it? Is that really worth it? Because... I don't think so. I want to see packs for every win. I want to see packs for. I want to see packs for using wrecks. I want to see packs for. Oh no, packs for getting thirty kills. I want to see packs for getting ten assists. I want to see packs for. I don't know. Just I want to see a reward system, man. I want to see a reward system, and as well, another reward system would be great. Is an Overwatch style reward system. At the end of the game, you see your your player, and then you see how many kills or how many assists or. How many deaths someone got, and you go, all right, that guy got good. Or you see that he got a Kilimanjaro, and that guy got a kill in there, and you're like, oh, those two fellas have done all right, so we'll reward them. And every time you get that, you get like a small reward. Or like even a player of the game sort of thing. I mean, in a game that lasts 25 minutes, you must have at least one good moment. <laughs> like across a, how many players, isn't it like 12 aside? 15 aside, like 30 odd players in a game, you must have at least one good moment from a player. And the last, and in my opinion, the most important thing that needs to come back for Warzone is split screen. You can't have a casual game type without split screen. And I mean, I don't know about you guys, and I, I prob I, I, as far as I know, I probably, you guys have probably been in this scenario as well. Split screen made Halo what it is for me. Like, honestly, without a split screen, I don't think I would have ever enjoyed Halo as much as I do today. The amount of times you go around your mate's house and you just sit there all night playing Halo, split screen. I didn't even need multiplayer, like, matchmaking online because, like, the Xbox free city, my mate didn't really have Xbox Live, so we didn't really play it online. But just the idea of split screen was just really fun. And for a casual environment such as Warzone, I think split screen is a must. And also, I mean... Warzone, let's be honest, has actually kept the population alive for Halo. It has kept the casual, fundamental issue, fundamental like aspects there, and that is what kept some players coming back. I feel, and if you include split screen, that's going to get their friends playing it, and then they'll go and buy it, and it'll just improve the scene massively. Anyway, guys, this has been almost 15 minutes long. This is a long one. Hope you have enjoyed. Please leave a comment what you want to see Halo 6 Warzone. I'll probably do a another video on arena if you have enjoyed please leave a like rating comment and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out